guys, it's me, Mitch, and welcome back for part two of two of the LEGO Minifigure Series 10. Um, if you want to get a look at the packaging and checklist insert thing for this series, go back to part one, and you'll also see the first two rows of figures there. But um, this time around, I'm going to be reviewing the back two rows. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So, uh, here is your first minifigure, guys. This is the paintball, uh, no, ninth minifigure, technically. First for part two, uh, the paintball player. Very awesome figure. He does have a green splotch on his brand new helmet. Brand new helmet mold. It's in black, except with the green paintball there. And he does have white goggles on that. Obviously, could be used as a BMX helmet if you wanted to. At least that's how I see it. Uh, he does come with his paintball marker, which is real, which is a really awesome, uh, Piece, brand new piece. Um, and then on his torso, he's got some paintball splats and uh, some zipper pockets and such. And the zippers are shiny. He's got three paintballs splatted there, and two on his legs. All of them are green, and some more zippers on his legs. And on the back of the torso, he has a little bit of detailing and an orange paintball. So I'm just gonna take off the helmet and uh, give you a look at his face. So there he is without his helmet, guys. He's a really awesome face, uh, kind of cocky looking. Uh, he's like, <laughs> I'm the best paintball player in the world. Ah. And uh, yeah, there is the paintball player. And here we have the 10th figure on the checklist. This is the sea captain. He does come with a nice rubberish seagull. Um, got some eye print, eyes printed on there, uh, got a beak printed on there as well, and, uh, he does have some printing on his wings that makes him look like he has feathers. I'm just gonna leave him off the side there. Um, the sea captain does have some arm printing right there. Um, very nice. This is that on both arms. And uh, he does have some really nice front torso printing with his jacket and then like a little sweater underneath or something. Then a little badge with an anchor, no back printing. But uh, on his hat, it has three different colors. It's, uh, let's see. Just take out something really quick. Okay, it's molded in white and it has black and gold printing on it, which is really cool. But they uh, decided to put printing on the hat. And he does come with black binoculars, which for some reason keep falling out of his hand. And uh, he does have uh, eyebrows. He's like, mm -hmm. um, and uh, facial hair there. So, uh, yeah, there's the sea captain. So, uh, this is the sad clown. He's all black and white, as you can see. Not a hint of any other color. He's got a uh, white cap with a black stripe going around the bottom and two black dots right there and he's got the black like ruffled collar like the actor from series eight which was two series ago and uh, he's got a sad face and he's crying he's like, mm. um maybe no one comes to his circuses anymore or something and he's got three more black dots on his torso and a little black wavy line on his legs absolutely no black printing and uh there's the sad clown so uh here we have figure number 12 the revolutionary soldier this one with a brown musket of course it's a musket can't think of anything else it would be um it's got the powdered wig with the tied back part in the back so, um back back yeah uh, he does have some straps right there on his jacket, on his torso printing, a lot of buckles and such. All dressed in red and white and blue. And uh, I'm just going to take the... Oh, did I mention that I had a bow printed on that? I bet I didn't. Um, so I'm just going to remove the hairpiece. And as you can see, he has some very simple but effective back printing. Figure number 13 is the baseball fielder. As you can see, he plays for a team called the Stackers. Uh, judging by the big blue S right there and the word stackers on his torso. Uh, his baseball cap is gray, otherwise, just got the white stripe and the word S in, uh, the letter S in blue. 
I just got to get into the word stackers in blue and uh, blue part there on his shirt and uh, belt printed there. Nothing on the back. He does have this brand new piece, which is a very, very cool baseball mitt. So you can be like, I caught it! Yay! Or, I caught it! Yay! Yeah, either way. It's got kind of like a little smirk going on there. And, uh, as you can see, the glove is his hand. Basically, whoopsie. Yep, the glove is his hand. Which is actually, I find that really neat that they did that. I like it. So, uh, there is your baseball fielder. So, uh, here we have the trendsetter. Um, she does come with this really awesome chihuahua, which she is holding right now, because it does have stud on the bottom. It is hard plastic, unlike a lot of recent animals, I think. No, wait, maybe, not sure. Unlike a lot of things, let's just say. Oopsie, I just thought the uh, book just fell on the floor. A book! onto the floor. Um, yeah. Uh, we have her smartphone, one by two tile right there, which is really cool if you ask me, except for one thing. It's all girlyified, so you can't use it on a male figure. Hmm. She has a shopping app. Let's see if I can get it to focus on the phone. A, an app that appears to be for contacting her boyfriend. An LOL app, well, the boyfriend thing because it's a heart. LOL app, her favorite things in the whole wide world. Usual texting type of thing, and BFF. And some buttons. And that. Uh, this part right here makes it look like an iPhone. Just saying. And uh, it's hollow, so it must be very mod. It must have some sort of modifications done to it. And uh, anyway, on her torso. You can't really see that. I'll get that to that later. She does have some bling. Uh, she's got some chains and stuff on her legs. Or belt there and some earbuds hanging out of her pocket or something. Nothing on the back. Really crazy blonde hair. The likes of which we have never seen before. Just going to take that off. And without her accessories and hair, you can see that she has a little bow right there. Again, some bling. Pink and white stripes. And some shades with a heart printed on there as you can see and uh some lipstick and a little freckle right there or something so there we have the trendsetter the second to last figure in the series guys is the decorator or some people call him the painter but he's officially called the decorator um he does have this paint roller which i'm pretty sure is a new piece almost certain uh but this part is not a new piece just a one by one Brown brick, as you can see. Yay. Um, just slots on like so. Boom. And then he does have a bucket with a removable handle. And uh, there's the bucket. Pretty simple. Not really much to it. And he dropped the handle of the bucket. So I'm just going to leave the bucket off and try to fix it. There we go. Um... But, um, he does have the same hat as the Series 9 Plumber in white, which is very cool. He's got some, uh, stubble, looks pretty happy. And uh, he's got some paint on his face right there, and some paint all over his overalls. And the shirt he's wearing under them, and paint all over his pants. I don't know why he's wearing white, seeing as he's a painter. I, I don't know. Um, but there's the decorator. The final, 16th final, well, except Mr. Gold, but I don't have him, figure in this series is the Motorcycle Mechanic. Very cool. He does have a red bandana there, like pirate type of deal. Um, he does have some chromed up shades, well, shiny shades. And a uh, interesting little mustache there. Got some stubble as well. He's got a flame tattoo on his left arm and his right arm. He doesn't have any tattoos, but he does have a really um, commonly used wrench piece. And uh, he does have a jacket with like the sleeves ripped off and a little undershirt type of thing under that. And uh, he does have some shiny button buckle things on the jacket. 
and some chest hair right there and some uh, nice belt detail with the skull with wrenches coming out of its skull. Mm -hmm. Um, and a little cleaning rag there and chain and a skull and cross wrenches, I guess. So there you have your series 10 review. So overall guys, this is a really amazing series. Um, sadly no like sci-fi type of stuff, like space stuff, but still really awesome. If I had to choose a favorite besides Mr. Gold, who I don't have, I would have to choose the paintball player. As I already showed you him, I'm not really going to go into detail, and he was in this part too, so, yeah, um, oops. so, uh, yeah, guys, there is my review on LEGO Minifigures Series 10, again, if I do get a Mr. Gold, I will make an unbagging, bag, and review of him, and, um, tell me in the comments below which one is your favorite from the series, um, if, yeah, I know a lot of people are going to say Mr. Gold, so if you were going to say Mr. Gold, say besides, say whatever it is besides Mr. Gold. So, uh, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Bye, guys.